Hey, this is Dr. Fisher. I'm going to talk to you about our 21 day challenge and how this 21 day challenge can help you accomplish the three most important keys to decompressing your spine and getting the best results from your Fisher traction. The 21 day challenge also works with our 30 day money back guarantee. As you'll see now, our 21 day challenge is this use your Fisher traction device for your neck or low back for the first 21 consecutive days. And if after those 21 consecutive days, you have not improved at all, then please send me back your Fisher traction device before the 30 days has expired. And I'll give you your money back minus any shipping. I'm so certain if you use my Fisher traction properly for 21 straight days, you will feel relief and you'll want to keep it forever to help you fight against gravity for the rest of your life. Now, the great thing about our 21 day challenge is this, it will force you to accomplish the three most important keys to decompressing your spine, which I'm going to talk to you about right now. The three keys to decompressing your spine are one frequency, two consistency and three time. Now you can ensure that you will accomplish all three keys. If you just commit to the Fisher traction, 21 day challenge, I'll talk to you a little more later regarding the science behind the 21 day treatment plan. Now here are the three keys to your success with Fisher traction for both the neck and or low back traction devices. One, the frequency of use. When you first start, this might actually be the most important key to your success and is why I'm telling you about it first. This is super important as the initial goal of decompressing the spine is to create enough momentum that you can actually cause tissues to change and how your spine functions. The first 21 days is critical to make this happen. That's why you need to use your Fisher traction every day for the first 21 days. Some people might feel they get the best results when they use the Fisher traction at night before bed, others in the morning, right when they wake up either way, try doing it at the same time each day. So you get into a routine of using it every day. Some people might experience immediate relief of their pain, which is great, but that's no reason to stop as the pain relief can be temporary. If you don't continue using Fisher traction, the remaining 20 days or so of the entire 21 day program, also, some people with more stubborn or chronic problems might not notice any pain relief right away, but that's no reason to stop either. Think of it like a diet or an exercise program. You don't diet one day and stop because you didn't lose all the weight, right? You also don't work out one day and stop because you don't look like the rock or Arnold Schwarzenegger. You keep going until you reach your goal traction is the same. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And that's why you must maintain the frequency. So you accumulate change over time, trying to create momentum of improvement, little pieces at a time. Now, the second key number two is consistency of use during the first 21 days. It is very important to not miss a day. The consistency helps create a therapeutic and healing momentum in the body, which allows for long term decompression of the nerves by taking the pressure off the nerves and other pain sensitive tissues day after day until the nerves and discs can thrive on their own with less assistance. Again, think of this as a diet or workout. Once you start, you have to commit eating and lifting the same way day in and day out. 
until you've reached your goal. If you don't, you can lose all of the gains you just made. Keep adding to your improvement and don't slip back down. For success, you must be disciplined and dedicated to the long-term outcome for tomorrow, not just how much you weigh or how you look or feel today. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't be distracted or derailed today when the goal is for tomorrow. The third and final key is time. Minimally, your body's tissues need to undergo decompression for at least 15 minutes at a time each day you treat yourself in the beginning. Your nerves need enough oxygen from the blood supply to heal and gain back their function. Disc and nerve decompression needs time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Although some people will notice immediate relief, most people need time before their bodies will change enough to feel better and function better. It takes time to heal. Make sure you carve out enough time at night or in the morning for you and your decompression. Combining all three of these in the 21 day challenge will help you ensure your best chances of success. You can go to our website here and if you haven't ordered your Fisher Traction already or if you need another unit for another part of your body, go to our website. I want to add a little more about the 21 day challenge. Traction research studies have shown that decompression is accomplished after 18 to 21 treatments, but that was typically done at a frequency of only two to three times per week, mainly because you had to go to a doctor's office or a therapist's office to receive the treatment. And it was typically hard and inconvenient to do that. I invented Fisher Traction, so it enables you to decompress at home at your pace and if done wisely you can accelerate the process over a shorter period of time which creates a better momentum at a faster rate of change all in a shorter period of time if you thought this video was helpful please give us a like below and also you can watch more videos on our how to playlist on our youtube channel for fisher traction right here if you have any questions that you don't see answers to in our video library, please comment or email us so myself and our staff, we can make new videos to help educate you and help your success because your success is our success. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.